Pat's airport just off the 405 with a 105 at the beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gardner. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks. Certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only about the 24. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Uh, give him credit for trying, but there's no fool in the defense with that call. They have a reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Aikman looking to throw. He'll get this one complete to Davis. A gain of five. And just like that, it's third down. Oh, I see you now. Aikman setting to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Smith. Room here to run. Yeah, he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Give him 32 on the play. Yeah, boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he's got a run. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. So how about that for your first carry of the game? Not bad. How about that and not bad at all? I think you're earning yourself a little bit more work, partner, because that's what you want from your number two or your number three running backs. You want him to come in with the fresh legs, give your team a little jolt, and he did it right there. Best way to lobby for more playing time? Have runs like that. Extra point attempt to come here. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A drive there of just four plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And they'll be led out by a guy who has a couple years under his belt in the NFL, their third-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there in every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And that's complete to Gates. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they work this well up field across the 45. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Well, they told us that he was just going to be a bear to defend. And usually tight ends are, Charles, but he's no exception to that rule. His second catch in the opening possession, and it gets him a first down. Yeah, and they certainly saw something on his earlier reception. He went back and reported what he found. And one of the things about him, He's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Well, we talk all the time, Charles, that it kind of gets cliche about the hands that he has, but really it's the truth. They're, they're, for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 41. Tablets it up the middle. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice tough run inside, and he gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's Tomlinson. Only a yard of the pickup there, and he'll bring up the third down. set on first and ten. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
and that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. And he's able to murder his way down to the 16-yard line. A game there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Quite the opening run march there on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Rivers buying time to his left. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nice job escaping the pocket. Boy, he took the shot downfield towards the end zone, didn't he? Trying to go for six. It just wasn't there against that coverage. They were ready to prevent the big play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rivers to throw it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and sell for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing Rivers. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Parker. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down. And that sets up a first and goal. Beautiful throw right there on third down. And it looked like this was going to be six points. But a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Tomlinson will take this into the end zone for a charge of touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. the truth if you don't think there's some one ups going on right now because they just had their touchdown answer by drive with double digit plays they also found the end zone now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one and when the defense 
defense wins and gets up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Aikman. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, you know what? This is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? No pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Big middle throw. But it's caught on the right side of Smith. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it. But to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, I got the safe completion on third. Out well, now comes the Cowboys punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is fielded at the 27. A nice punt, but a good run back as well. 13 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner's a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. On second and nine, Rivers. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So just three yards on the completion there. And now third down and six to go. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Rivers forced out to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. On is the Chargers punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Aikman now off the bootleg. Rolling to his left. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. 
First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. He was out there waving his arms. When I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. A first down carry for Smith. Oh, good move. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. They keep it with Smith on first down. And he's across the 45 in the second down. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped in the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Aikman. Got his man, it's Williams. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. 7-7, our score after one. Started the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. To throw is Aikman. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third of the yard. And that's understanding where the markers are, because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. They go back to the ground now with Smith. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake, here's Aikman. Sideline. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Give him 30 yards there. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. That's good for a gain of six. Second and goal. That's a good break to the tight end. And I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, the speed. I mean, a flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Smith. Officially, it will go as a one yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense.
He'll drop to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. From three yards out. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point attempt here still to come. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. On a pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. L.A. readies for its next possession. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and ten. Play action now. Rivers. Is going to be caught along the sideline. Nicely done, but right at the line of scrimmage. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I think he tried to fool them on that one. You know, being able to throw the ball to the fullback position, no one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least for the time being? <laughs> I, think you, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. On just about every team, okay, forget it. On every team, the goal is to be in third and what they call manageable to give yourself a chance to pick up a first down how about that call on second down the big man puts them in position to make it third and manageable i wonder if he'll get a second chance at it to try and pick up the first down it's caught by jackson well this is going to depend on the spot but it's not a very generous one he looks to be about a yard or so short so the completion good for seven there and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. On is the Chargers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive. And they'll begin again here on first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his man in stride complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Oh, it's a jet sweep. Here's Davis. They find some open field here. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. 
and I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A give to Smith out of the gun. Taken down at the 47-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run it again with Smith. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. If you're looking for glory, you're looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. How about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip up and make a tackle on that block. That's big time. They'll need the 39 here for the first. This is third down. They'll set up to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And a tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. They'll try and throw for it with Aikman. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Handoff, running left, Smith. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and twelve. Then we are going to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running now. They said run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. Out of the gun it's Aikman. That is caught at the seven. Touchdown! A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys go up by two touchdowns. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to 7. Yeah, very impressive the way that they've moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards, and it's capped off with a Cowboys touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Possession switching back now to the Chargers. 
And Charles, a very uninspired effort. The last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he fights forward for a minus two-yard gain, second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game and be close them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Play fake. Rivers. And he will go down. The Cowboys says. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive, and it's been paying off for them so far this game. Is the Chargers punter now standing just about on his own goal line he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away good open field tackling there a 50 yard punt followed by just a one yard return Dallas offense set for this next drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And it both has specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and eight coming up. They'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. From the shotgun, Aikman trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And right now these guys are shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Draw play, Tetsu. And he's got some space here. Touchdown! Chargers have got it back to within a score. So two touchdowns for him on the ground in this 
first half in that one. A fun to do. And just like his last touchdown run, we saw him be patient. How about his vision where he's able to identify where the opening was? And then how about the escort right down the field, all the way to the end zone from his blockers? Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game then. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, giving him in for six points. away taking it about the one and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20 the Dallas offense back out on the field and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position Charles after throwing their first interception of the ball game yeah and some guys you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, their goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Aikman looking to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On third down, Smith evades him at the 10, and he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. He'll look to set up his blockers.
teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Cowboys are about set to take over on offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. And a dangerous throw there from the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. They'll set up the screen to Smith. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Time to get more credit here. That was an excellent read. The pause on the defensive side of the ball. Credit in your defense. Got a credit of on that one because he tried to fool him. Right, tried to trick him. Ran a screen, and it went to and smothered it for a loss of yardage. quarterback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Smith up the middle. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First though, Let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Cowboys. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Scoreboard taken at the goal line. 
And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost a will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, thinking is can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense throwing on second and eight Rivers the kidder here it's complete so five yards here five on the play and this will wind up being a third and three They'll look for the first with Tomlinson. And this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's three the block in the ball. Awesome. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played. But you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They begin with a run by Smith. And some room to maneuver. And they work this well the field across the 45. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Once he broke through that first wave of defenders, there was a pretty big gap there for him to run. And it helps that they were in a dime defense. That's six defensive backs. So this is why a lot of teams now are searching for those linebacker safety combo type guys who can add a little bit more size on the defensive side of the ball but can still run as well because when you run against six DBs with some bigger offensive linemen, you have to get this result. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Steps away to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10, down at the 31. Aikman operating from the gun. He finds Smith out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, he can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain.
On second down, Aikman. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment. It's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take him back, and he did so there. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Rivers now to throw on first down. Right side caught by Jackson. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Throwing Rivers. Throwing right and that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. the gut with Tomlinson. Another nice move. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards down fit before there's even a hint of contact. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Off the play fake here, Rivers. That's to the sideline and complete. A nifty job to make the catch, but the throw took him right out of bounds. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment.
to throw again on second down. Rivers, and he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten to throw Rivers. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up four. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? About uh, 15 cents. On is the Chargers punter now. He's been terrific so far. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. On second down, here's Aikman to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to bring out the third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Aikman will throw. And that is incomplete. By the way, this offense is much up in the home field during this game. It's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass at third down, isn't it? And they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fielded just inside the 30. And when it's set and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a wall here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And wasn't that supposed to be a sweep? They didn't even get to the outer third of the field. That got blown up quickly. Normally, when you're calling a play, you're talking about that tackle made, as you said, to the outer part of the field. Ran that one down in a hurry. That's great diagnosis by the defense. A give up the middle to Tomlinson. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Now Rivers. Dancing to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. On 
out as the Chargers punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. But they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They go back to the ground with Smith. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Three yards is half of what they need. And now can they get the other three here on third down? It's Aikman. Over the middle to Smith. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. In certain situations, one of them said something that stuck with me. I like guys that present themselves to the quarterback. And on that play, short little route, had to be out fast. He did exactly that and caught it for a first down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. They'll throw on first down with Aikman. Escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, that's good decision making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Now it's Aikman. And he faded one out there in complete. Coverage keyed in on him since our last completion was away. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Aikman going to throw again. And that is incomplete. That's been a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. And he goes out right around the 39. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well strong. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing Rivers. His throw incomplete. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. On the handoff, Tomlinson. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down Rivers it's caught by Jackson 
And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. This is Tomlinson. Oh, he shifts past him. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. 78 yards on the ground for him so far. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. On second down now, it's Turner, and they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Tomlinson up the middle. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Again, it's Tomlinson. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. By the way, you'd be looking at about a 47-yarder from here as they come up on an important third down. Here's Rivers. He's got his man, Gates. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Nice job there utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Rivers to throw it. He's got his man. It's good. Touchdown. Chargers. From three yards out. And the Chargers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. There's a matter of that and get those progressions and find the open receiver. I believe we just saw that there. And we admire just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown. To try here for the extra point. And that will make this a four point game. That time, a nine play drive. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone.
the kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one. Now Aikman. He's got Smith here. He did it again. And some space here. There he goes, right side. And here he'll get it to seven. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 70 yards. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Yeah, this is a case of improper form from a tackling perspective because when you get ready to go up against a back like this, Everyone has to be able to understand you've got to be able to slow him down and let the Cowboy come to the rescue. They were nowhere to be found that time, though, and this winds up being a big play. To throw is Aikman. Touchdown, Cowboys! A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Pretty clean and simple there, just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up past the 20 of the 22-yard line. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Now Tomlin set on first and 10. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. 87 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. A give to the fullback on the dive. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. How about that call? Hand it to the big guy in that situation. Normally, a big up is a real short yard and runner, but in this case, they trust him to get a few more yards than that. I remember an old New York Giants quarterback, a Super Bowl-winning quarterback, telling me he loves offense coordinators who call the plays with a little bit of abandon. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Tomlinson on the handoff. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains.
They'll run on first down. Turner. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. Turner, and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. This offense so far on third down, they're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and seven. Throwing there with this pass is going to wind up incomplete. On is the Chargers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building up their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Inside handoff, Smith, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Now Aikman looking to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. A gain of nine yards. First down for Dallas. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Now Aikman on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're ruling incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. 
And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. And passing yardage wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Smith trying to run for it. He'll get two out of that one, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there, and if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. This drive's taking more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. He'll drop to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth. A costly turnover. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat for the first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They stay on the ground, Tomlinson, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a handoff up the middle. It's turned. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there, and a first down for L.A. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. Right back to him on first down. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. And that's complete to Gates. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. To throw is Rivers. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. And I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. On is the Chargers punter now, as he's on to kick it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. 
He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is break a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get them up first downs and make them need up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Here's Smith as he'll try to run some clock. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 87 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw here. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. on third and short yardage. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as good running gets him to about the 44. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Here's a give to Smith. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again at Smith. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? Well, you drop this one, you'll be carried around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college carrying it around campus, right? Old goal drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Well, partner, I would say just avoid play action, but that's not just been the problem. This defense, they've been getting pressure on all types of pass plays and really piling up the sacks in this contest. Yeah, this is a high kick, but it's not going anywhere. Only 29 yards on the punt. They're definitely not his best. And control of the football. Switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. 
Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Second and ten now from the 27. Rivers. And he'll just get rid of it. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stand your feet defensively, and tackle someone. One last shot now for Rivers. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.